Hello out there worldwide interwebs. This is WizWiki and today I'm going to be walking you through a build video. This is going to be a two part series on the latest and greatest coming out of the X Hover Laboratories. Many of the experiments have made, been made, very many, many mice have been sacrificed in the name of science to bring this out right here. All right, and let's get to it. The first, um, the first video is going to be mostly about the frame. It's mostly going to be about the frame. And uh, it's a brand new frame from X Hover called the R5X. And um, I'm not going to lie, I've had the opportunity to fly it for over a month and I love it. So out of the box, we got here your XT60 cable, some foam, some uh, ESC stickers, some X Hover stickers, a battery strap, some uh, cards talking about X Hover. Um, over here, we have uh, the stand-ups for holding up the PDB. We have the top and bottom plates, complete with the press nut fitting, which is a really cool feature I personally haven't seen. Um, we have the arms here. Uh, incredible, awesome, unique feature about this frame is you can take out arm by arm, um, a single arm at a time, while the whole thing's put together without adjusting any of your PDB FC stack, um, without having to take apart a whole unibody, literally you just grab this puppy, pull it out, put a new one in. It's, it's honestly really cool, it's super handy. And for the racers out there, being at a race, be able to switch out something that quick is really, really cool. Um, if you were doing a straight unibody design, you just wouldn't be able to do that. Here we got the PDB. Um, and we got your standoffs, your screws, um, these are metal screws, and then you got your nylon screws here for your stack in the center. And uh, let's go ahead and put this thing together. All right. We're not going to need this. We're going to hold off on that. Um, we are going to need some of the things in here. Let's go this way at it. Oh, whoa, they're working. Got to have a trick with them. I'm going to hold off on the stack, the nylon screws for now. Put the PDB over here. I really love these stout arms. They are beefy, they are thick. They're made with 3K twill carbon, which is a really high in carbon, uh, high density, very strong. The girls love it. All right. So, pretty simple um, component list here. Uh, there's not a ton going on, as you can see. Top and bottom plate standoffs. Um, this is sandwiched below uh, to hold on the arms. And um, let's go ahead and start piecing this guy together. Sorry for the delay. I need a break. <sighs> Back in the game. Oops, get over there. All right, so we have four smaller screws and these puppies are gonna go into these guys right here. Okay, and then the rest are long screws and they're gonna go in all the other holes. Now the way I like to start to do this is I take one arm, I take the bottom plate and I take the X plate and there's sides to this. Uh, you can see where the screws are, are not flush on one side. Put that face down, okay? Then take your arm. You're going to sandwich that in between and line up the holes. Make sure I got it right, and I do. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our X plate here and line it up on top of that. Now, the first one's always the hardest. Now, we're going to take our small screw here, put it in, grab our driver, and our first arm is halfway done. Now I'm gonna do is just go through and just add all the other arms. Again, with the small screw, I'm just gonna fill in all four holes here.
There we go. Whew. All right, number two is halfway there. Which one do you want to Now, I'm not cinching these down all the way because I want them to be able to have a little bit of play in there, at least initially, just to make it easier to set up. So now I have these four screws in there, these four here, which are right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my standoffs. So the only screws that are left are the long screws. We're going to put that in the hole furthest to the edge. And then we're going to put a standoff on it. Now you can start to see it taking shape. The cool thing about this frame is it only takes these two screws. There we go. It only takes these two screws to change the entire arm. So if I needed to change this arm out real quick, I just take off this screw and this screw, this entire arm pops out, put a new one in, just those two screws. You don't have to deal with any of these screws, which are your FC screws, and that's very convenient. Helps if you screw it in all the way. So you guys at this point probably see where this is going. We'll put it on our FPV standoffs, cam standoffs. Then the top plate goes on here. There you have it. There's the frame build of the R5X from X Hover, the newest frame out from X Hover. Um, now I'm not going to put any components in this yet. I just wanted to go over the frame build and show you the different ins and outs of it. Uh, my next video is going to be I'm actually going to component it out and you're going to even see it fly. Until then guys, take care. Thanks.